the same time. So again, they're not fully committed here. They have 40 seconds to play with. They can still go back, but they are a, a lot of players in shower here and they're looking like they want to contest this. It's the wall plant strat, Dan. This is the ascend strat, but look, Cloud9's aware they're getting in ahead of it. They're gonna meet the push here. They're going forward. They're not sure about it, but now they've seen all the players. Very controlled shots there, but the guard coming out on top in these fights. It's still a very difficult battle here for both sides, and it's going to be the guards. Here's an edge now. They can attack through the shower's position. That's gonna destabilize this retake a little bit. Oh, the, the kills are all going the guards' way, Dan. They managed to get the frags, and now the plant will go down. There's nothing Zeta can do. It's just crazy. I mean, they, they really forced a lot of these close-range engagements. However, Vanity is still in position, and the site has yet to be breached. So the guard, they're down four against five. They have eerily good statistics, and the scenario is to see if it plans pans out for them here and the guard get great entries into the site they make it look pretty clean now it's a 3v3 site control spike should go down but seppa finding great damage and pressure from hookah might delay things and buy time for his teammates even better gets the frag now there's openings out comes lead from spawn and it's just jonah p left and cloud nine that's that beautiful response from them to try to spot something it's not going to find too too much but now they have a sense of it and vanity drops the Viper's Pit. That's a great possible counter, but Vanity has to survive, and he goes down immediately. Orbital Strike backside for that backside control. Guaranteed there for the guard now. Five versus three in favor for them as they get the spike planted. And it's a desperation TP for Mitch, and he can't catch anything. And that's just it. The round's over for Cloud9. The guards, they conceded a round, but then can't really know. They've seen the pressure on both sides, but the guard, they're, they're getting a rotation timing advantage. They go straight in. Sire player over all the util. Backside for Zeta there to try to stop this. Nice trade coming through from Valen, and they know now the, res, the site is the clean. Res. There it goes. That's the 5v4 for them. Oh, the paint shells. That's going to stop it. And it Ooh. actually catches the aftershock, in fact, running into it. And there goes that showstopper straight oh. in from spawn. And just like that, the flurry of kills out of cloud nine on the retake. They saw the timing. It was a just millisecond. Big, big trouble, Dan. Yeah, C9 have a fast flank coming through from through market. Net is watching for that. We'll see if he's able to do much damage there as the push tries to make it out of short. So Cloud9 have contained this, but they have to get the kills. There's one for Mitch. And can he keep this effort alive? The wall goes up to slow things down. Jonah on top of the wall, looking to find that fight, looking to find the advantage. There comes the swing, but Mitch, that's a key pickup. But unfortunately, Mitch is alone in this 1v3 and they know where he is and they are very well prepared to deal with that. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this setup. He's gonna just walk through or try to walk through his own smoke, but they know it. Oh, the mind game's here. And there's no space to work with for Mitch. <laughs> no. They're this going is for it. actually wild. Cloud9 used so much utility on that B push. They got nothing out of it. And now the spike will go down. The Brimmy has ult. They're going through the smoke though, Dan. Oh my goodness, the stim. The stim to win, but the double coming out from Zeta on that Hunter's Fury makes a pivotal difference here. Net looking for possibly a timing. It's a two versus four. He's got to take a big risk here. He might not just want to sit. He's got to pick a good timing to go for this push. He has a player with him in showers and he no finds way. a perfect timing. Takes down one. Zeta is low. <gasps> Net is doing it. Orbital Strike. He's got it. He's the got the defuse. Goes. He goes for the holes and it's going to be the clutch from Cloud9. The red. Should be back in time. And there's a spot and that's going to convince the rotation out of the rest of the players for the guard to come over how much does trent get that's that first headshot takes down vanity that's a great kill to get one of the two controllers out of the picture here for cloud nine but they've gained some space they gained ground and a spike plant for that death can they convert the 4v5 after plant with this setup well, it looks like the guard are going to try to just go in straight away. And it's... Oh, they're actually getting a lot of frags back sight here. Mitch down by himself. That's a good uh, frag to get, but there's just too much to handle. And it's a great retake coming through from the guard out of spawn. So that takes him out of the fight, meaning it's an effective four versus four on this retake effort. But what are they able to do here? This breach utility causing problems in delay for the guard as they look to get back in. Now that paint shell is trying to constrict them into one spot, pushing them all the way into this corner. And there comes through with the judge from Sire Player and Jonah P with the rifles as well. Really making life difficult. Mitch, though, holding onto this short position. Cloud9 still creating problems. And the response is great. Not very much left here now. Sire Player. Seeing if he can get some extra damage. <laughs> Actually forcing out. 
Mitch into the peak, but it's like that will be all that can be gained here at the end for here for Sire player as Cloud9 pick up the round. Wow. I can't believe it's again so fast from Cloud9. They recognize what's going on. The shower TP pinch. They have to get out of there as quick as possible. There's so many people in that area of the map. So what do they do? They flash up shorter. They have to use utility to get to that TP. And once they're there, they can take a deep breath. They set up now and everything should be so easy for the retake. They should be able to shut this down. And the scary part of the round is over for Cloud9. The guard, though, they are going to want to do damage here. They don't have much in the way of weapons they're holding on to. So they're going to try to set up Trent very low HP. The only player on the flank is going to need someone to create noise so that he's able to get a free kill in Hookah. We'll see if that can happen as the rest of his team starts to make their way forward. And both guns were looking towards spawn for a moment. There was a window, but it won't happen here for the guard. Looking for damage. Net, can he find anything? No. Dang. Well done. Let's see, is there anything to stop this plant right now? Nothing. Plant goes down. We're in a five on five retake. Trent has the seekers. They're likely going to use that to open up this site. There they go, just like you said. And it's going to give them some info on these positions. And at the same time, a flank is underway from Jonah P. There should be more than enough attention. But net getting that kill <gasps> makes it less likely that they're going to oh, look no, for this. Oh, no. And Jonah P picks up one. That's a second. Oh, oh my no. Goodness. Jonah P with three and there's nothing left here for cloud nine they did their best but it wasn't good enough and it looks like they will respect the smoke i think i've oh. learned dan that there's no such thing as a timing when trent's on the other side of the utility that's very fair and just but look at look at the the beautiful effort here clearing u-haul they use the aftershock to guarantee jonah p is off the wall they send in the following utility they are crunching cool. in onto this space but still Fallon picks up those two kills, and that's half of the push gone. Yeah, and it's because that Sage just completely shut down one half of the hit. Slowed Hookah so much that these long B players are all alone. Valen takes them apart. And now we're in a one-on-five at match point. The in-game leader's spamming, but he's found, and Trent's going to find him. And that's the game, Dan. 13-7. Fake. Yeah, I, the guard has no idea what's going on. Cloud9's bringing this spike all the way to B right now. Leaf is almost in this site, and this Sova's all alone. What a great fake, and Leaf picks up the kill against Trent with ease. Great, great working of the map there, and we'll go into that more in a moment. Now that we have the retake effort coming through from Cloud9, they need to be fast on the pace. They're trying to get across great angles, though, between Vanity as well as his teammates, Mitch especially. And there's no way in here for the guard. Just completely smashed on these timings. Great round by Cloud9. And such good misdirection, like you said. Sia player can get one. And Zeppa trying to hold on to this marker position. There is the peak. Get some info. One player B stairs. And he's also seen one in spawn. That's two of the three players. They know where they are. Which allows them to easily walk into the A site. Mitch now trying to help out his teammate. They need to get this spike to the A site. So Vandy lends a smoke over to Tree, and that's finally going to get this spike over here. Now this one again, buying some time, making sure that the guard cannot progress here whilst that spike gets planted. And playing two around hell now. One gen. This will be very difficult for Jonah P and Net, but in they go. Trying to see what they can find here. It's all about the timings. And if he just missing the timing there, there's a catch there on Zeta, but it is a bait. And they can spam through the bottom, and that's a problem. Net going for the drop, and there's just too much there. Great finish from Cloud9. That's three. Sorry to interrupt oh, look, you how, look how far off the site this Asher is. She's trying to get her abilities to work, but it's going to be too late. Cloud9 has this site, Dan. It's going to be a five on five retake, and I think we're going to see both Null Commands use this round. Yeah, and Vanity has the from the shadow, so he can just TP. Uh, oh, and it's going to be a, oh, a quick push and all that util is actually going to destroy the lockdown. The frag grenade will do its job and it's a 4v5 here for Cloudline to try to hold on to this. They don't have much position to work with. Really good stuff from the guard to force them back into these corners. And it's, oh wow, the util game is on point for this retake from the guard. They had to spend the, the separator. He's been activated now. <gasps> Timing is unbelievable. Leaf with the Blade Storm is going to be able to pick up an operator as well and storm through this tree position with speed. And Jonah P is going to drop onto the site to play committed delay. We'll have to see what he can do with the flashes and the possible frag grenade. That's still 
available. Actually, actually, that is gone. It's just the flashes. Right click over the top. The Zephyr's already made his way deep. There's the punish, though, from Valon. He's going to try to do what he can, but the trade is in with a stinger from Vanity. And now two players for the guard as things settle down into the retake. Yeah, that's, this <gasps> is a disaster. <gasps> no way. He's so no. close. Oh. Trent is a genius. But it doesn't matter how smart you are in this 2 on 4 against Cloud9. They have such a positional advantage. And oh, I don't know how these two players are going to find their way in. They have the lockdown to work with. But do you want to use it in a 2 on 4, Dan? They have the turret holding the B push. They have mid control right now with Leaf. And now they're going up Catwalk after they've lost them in. But Valen, evening things up. That's so big from the in game leader. Yeah, no luck to worry about now. And here comes the main push. They're going to spot that. There's a timing, there's an angle for net. And so far, so good. Holding these push, pushes oh! at bay, and it's a great double from net. Oh, Vanity's going for the omen plays here. The TP to B. He won't have much time after planting. He goes to the insta plant. He's going to hear the running, though. They're close. That's paranoia. <gasps> He's taking the, the fight to them. Oh, and the double cloud burst is the perfect response. And that's going to force Vanity back, but where is he gone? He's holding the angle, looking for the first play. He needs to peel off after the first kill. The dash comes through the reset there for oh! Vanity, but it's not enough. Sire player takes the round for the guard. That puts him now to three against Cloud9. Six. ...of info right there for Cloud9. Because now they know there's no alarm bot here. There's no vision on this angle, and he's out. He's in the site now. There are two players kind of cut off from the push, though, into the B site proper. However, Leaf has taken that control. How do you... the guard decide to react here? By failing with that spam. Not able to find too much damage out of it, though. And there are players in B main to worry about for the guard as they retake into this one. Paranoid ready to go as well from Vanity. Oh, that's a snap and a hop from Leaf. And it's, it's looking really good here. Prime gaming. Play. And this is, a, this is actually a very forward-thinking play from Cloud9. They're trying to bait out the defensive lockdown. And the <gasps> off battle happens in mid. Leaf finds Saya player. Oh man, that, that's going to create an opening in this B site. You can see Cloud9 starting to position for it. And the, just the edge of the lockdown there, maybe obscuring the peak a little bit. What a play. Well, versus five here for the guard as they try to defend this B site. There comes the dash from Leaf. He's got that blade storm out. In comes the punish. Takes down Jonah P, but maybe the guard can recover that because it's just Zeta and Mitch right now on this A site. So it looks like Jonah P is just going to be stuck on that B side. No res. Hunter 3 comes through. And oh, can't oh, find the no. finish. And it gives his position away. And that's the round for Cloud9. I mean, for Cloud9's sake on the defense, they have a, a lot to defend here between the server utility and the killjoy utility. So this might get slowed down. That, that Nanus one, there it goes. The dash from Sire player, but he goes down straight away. So they can't take the space really all that easily. And they're going to get the way to sidewalk here. So they're trying to force the issue. They're taking heavy losses. Can Cloud9 keep punishing them as they move forward? Still five players strong now as the push finally comes through. But great position here from Mitch. The bait, the right click is doing wow. work. The quad kill. Fantastic. With that frag grenade, that will buy time for his teammates. For Vanity to get through spawn to assist. Comes the push on sidewalk. Oh. Good trades though from the guard. Making it wow. happen. Oh, but Vanity! He's found a cheeky moment with that charge to just get in there in the back in the nick of time. Side player's so low, Dan. These specters are looking so strong right now when a player is this low on health. And here we go. We get another smoke to just make things a little bit difficult that has you can drop from that smoke into the site that's another reason why that particular smoke is particularly annoying there right, comes up mitch creating distraction on the right side as vanity presses the left side with the judge and now because they had to respond they know where he was but vanity gets traded at least by mitch now down to sire player the classic he's so low he's so low <gasps> it doesn't matter you i can see the fight. argument that there is a really good argument for them to go to this side, but Cloudline, as you say, they are so well set up for this. Cosmic Divide comes through, and see Zeppa, he slowed it down with a frag grenade. 
There's no map control for the guard. They are committed. They have to go in. They have to go in. It's got to count as well. An initial trade. But again, lots of delay. The stack from Cloud9. They're in a good spot to try to get the hold here. But Vanity worried about both sides at once. Has to make the forward play. He's got to get ahead of it, as you can see. But it's a three versus three. Still a player back site. That is going to be, well, never mind. Not Zeta any longer. Up to Leaf. The star duelist gets the <gasps> 1v1 against Jonah P. And it's now so Net, low, Dan. 20, 20, 20 seconds. Net's going for the aggressive, aggressive play. Leaf has a better angle and he gets the frag. And Cloud9 pick up the... Tw it's four and five still. That is very true. But they don't have... This is the same problem as the previous round. They don't have map control in mid. And they know that Cloud9 know that. So they dropped, they dropped this ult to kind of suggest that they're going B. But at the same time, they are kind of committed because they have no other map control elsewhere. And they're just going to send it. They're sending it through onto the B site. Ooh. The counterplay is coming through, but the KO. He has a judge. Oh. Vanity has a judge. Oh my. This is the play from no. Vanity. That's the spike. Can keep tight to these angles. Which peak comes first. He's got Leaf covering the other angle. Only has to oh, worry about no. the one angle. And it's Jonah P against the world. The God against the ropes. Jonah P needs a magical clutch here. A miraculous clutch. Takes down the first player. Two more to go now. The ice lane is 1v1. Seven bullets. Bazzata sprays it on through. I think that'll decide whether you know, that streak continues. I completely agree. And we're going to get a push into that B site. Leaf walking in is very mischievous there from Leaf. The dash He's in a link. And now the spike will be planted. And the guard not throwing anything in too haphazardly. They're going to... Make sure that they can coordinate this one. You can see, you know, the guard is just waiting for an aggression into one of these links, but it's not going to happen. And Vanity getting the, the first blood. That's yeah, a great pick with the classic. Use of the shock dart will allow Trent a kill, but the response here from Cloud9 is fantastic so far. Four versus one, and Valen will go down. And that's going to be the open. Slowly. And a lobby will be taking control of one. Oh no! Yeah, straight into C window. Garage player is gone. Going to be out of the picture. That's that's painful. Using Sky like that. Sky is super helpful in retaking positions. You really don't, yeah. don't want to give a position away, and that means you know we've got the guard stacking three on A. It's even worse because the lurker got the pick, Dan, which is terrible news if you're on defense. When the Lurker gets the frag, it creates this sense that there's more people on that side of the map. As you can see, now the guard is debating this triple short A push. I oh. think they're going to hit a pretty good timing on it, too. Yeah, they're going to catch Mitch, and they take Mitch down. But the problem with that is that Lee, that oh. gives him the info, and he had the position to fully punish that one. Unfortunately, it, it was a timing that became quickly an anti-timing for uh, the guards. Smoke the top of C long, so that way these guys can get the orb. And this is something we haven't seen a lot in the Astro. Whoa, Net spamming Vanity right through the Sea Long Smoke. He sensed the pop. That's actually insane. The hero rifle and in exactly the right place at the right time. And what is the response here? They're just going to go forward, bursting, and we'll try to brute force this one. Nice shot from Valen, though, off of the Omen. That's Sheriff. But it's going to be a three versus three with side control now for Cloud9. They're taking their time Ooh. here with this plant. Mitch They're going to go for gets it. Locked down. Mitch will get locked down. Does he use it right away? There it is. Oh, good call. And they're going to try to punish this one. They got 10 seconds to get every single frag. There's the updraft. It doesn't get the value they needed. And every second that passes, the round becomes unwinnable. And there we have. Now Leaf gets in there, gets that initial clearance of the drone. And oh, the paranoia. Great punish from Beautiful. Leaf. The assist from Vanity. That's that omen value coming through now for Cloud9. They've taken that B site, but it is hard to hold on to the B site, especially in these gun rounds. They're going for the committed battles, and they're going to push this A-Link position. At the same time, C-Link is open, and there is a way in. There's two players there for the guard, but waiting for the smokes there from Valen. He doesn't have a paranoia available. No flashes to get in. They're going to have to win these gunfights, and running straight into Sire player won't be the way... Or rather, sorry, running straight into the Leaf won't be the way for Sire player now as... And then that have so many problems on their hands and just no solutions. TPing away. It's fast, but not fast enough for Leaf. Yeah, they are sending it here. Oh, so oh no, he's sending he's it. Past it. Well, oh. Net, he's going to try to get some value oh. there, but Leaf able to catch that play. There was very little space to work with. He just used all of his plays on the Seekers. I respect this it. He doesn't care. <laughs> I respect it. 
and trying to hold on to the backside position. That's really important to control. Under three sent forward to try to clear that backside. And that's the spike. That's the spike down at the back of the site, and they know exactly where the spike is. And they can hold Vandy the line. Could TP to get it. I think Vandy might TP to get this. Oh, no. Actually, Leaf is just going to go run. Up the spike. Oh, my Whoa. goodness. He's playing in the open. There goes the paranoia. They're going for it. They still can't plant the spike. Try to capitalize Jonah. P and friend come through like a sledgehammer right through the brick wall. And there is nothing left but... I mean, we have... Sire player here. He wants. He needs to get a kill ahead of the push if he gets that timing. <gasps> oh no! He's gonna oh, get caught by the dead. rolling thunder. He might be extremely dead here. He's sitting. He's sitting on the top of the boxes in the clouds. First, he's still alive for now, but eventually no gets traded. But has he done enough? His teammates able to get a couple kills in there. It's still even here. Three versus three, and and as he goes for the plant, leaf on the aggression, looking for a timing. He hears the running for the catch. He catches the run. Oh, no! He denies the ability for the punish on the lockdown. And now the lockdown comes into play. Zeppa has to go for an aggressive play as well. He takes down one. He knows there's someone else. Jonah P with a critical defense of the lockdown. And now Vanity with the fake TP. Does he get one looking away now? Does he cast the seed of doubt? He isolates the one versus one, but he misses the shot. And Trent won't miss that one. And it is a massive swell of players making the C split happen here for Cloud9. And... Well, how does Net deal with this? It's so tempting to try to make a play, but just as no it reasonably cannot get there into that lockdown to challenge it. It's going to have to give it up. Play for the retake. Jonah P goes down meanwhile. And this retake will be interesting given the players of the guard. The positions of the guard. Oh, Zephyr's angle. Are they going to clear this, Dan? He just sprayed I don't think they're going to clear it. And Zephyr's going to take down one. Here's a second player being served up, but it's Trent. Trent now making his way forward. And it's a slowdown. Nice shot from Ooh. Trent. So confident, but it's got to be followed up by his teammates. And they will. Up to Net now. Net unable to do anything against the Blades. Leaf sends them straight to his face. Holding onto that B position. We've got also Net holding onto Garage. Drops the lockdown. That's going to just basically ruin Cloud9's ability for this forward space. And they move into the back setup around a lobby. And they have only one way to go. And you know what? The guard can hear it and they know it. And there's the smoke. They have to go through it though with a flash. Because, oh, they send the trailblazer through. But it drops the spike because he doesn't know what's beyond it. That will slow the timing down for this plant. Uh, right now, the guard have to be cautious. They have a three versus two, but they're all split up, Sean. Yeah, net on this long flank could make things so difficult. Oh, the... The Omenol spots them both short, so now Net progresses up long, knowing where both of these players are. Full line getting lined up here and trying to set up his teammate. They combine it with the flash. The timing's really good, but protected by the dark cover. Don't get hit by that flash. Sire player with... Oh, no! Wait, no takes here's all, here's all! Here comes the rolling thunder. Is there a punish? Can he make it happen? Oh. No way! have a very good chance of running Vanity over. He's going to play retake. This site is the guards, but... The quick garage retake from Leaf and it works! And he's out. And he's out. Scott what? free. No punish at all. Net able to take down Mitch, so that's something in return. And they're holding back side control. No oh way, no God, way. Leaf. Three with the frenzy. They line up. And it's a strike. And there's Give nothing the left. Go get it. Go get that ace, Leaf. What? Uh, Net's gonna use that. He's fan, fan himself uh, off, man. It, oh, wow. He's sweating. I don't... It, you, I mean, what do you do? What do you do about this? How many kills does Leaf even have right now? Five. It's an ace Five to open up the second the ace. Oh. And I think that's something we need to be on the lookout for right now. He is going to be in spawn in about two seconds. There you go. We'll see if he can hit that perfect timing. His teammates need to create the delay for Net to be able to do damage here. And it looks good. The timing looks pretty good. They have to hold on just a moment longer. There it is. Net activated on the flank. Looking to take down one more. But Cloud9 winning every single fight. And even though the spike goes down, they cannot defend. And Cloud9 on match and series point. Into this series. Yeah, I totally agree. But with that said, we get an opening pick from Sire Play. The drone follow-up to catch Leaf. Protected. Leaf got protected. Oh, and this guy oh no. is dangerous. An absolute menace there. Takes down one. The confidence at an all-time high. We'll be able to deal with Trent and then fall off. So they equalize. Four versus four. And Leaf is looking for more. And he's going to no get way. it. He can't fail. He hasn't even hit yet, Dan. He's 150. <laughs> it seems unfair right now. 
The guard, they're trying to recover. Three versus four. They've claimed some space back to Garage. And I don't think that Cloudline expect them to retake the position so quickly. Now, Jun uh, Zephyr takes his time. He turns back because they got the info. And it's up to Sire Player and Valen. Two versus three now. Be able to get the plant down. But Beef's still running around with the Blaze Storm. And there's the updraft. Here he goes. It's picked out of the sky. And it's up to Sire Player. 33 health. The Blaze Storm comes through. He has Whoa. to connect. He has to connect. There's no choice. He can't do anything but connect. But Zephyr takes him down. And there's nothing left.